OK, so what I'm going to do is show you how to graph y equals x squared plus 1. And to graph y equals x squared plus 1, we're going to use our um, vertex form. That's going to now transform what we have as our, uh, what we call our parent graph. So when we look at our parent graph, we notice that a equals 1 and h and k are both 0. So what we're going to do now is determine, all right, what else has changed there with this graph? Well, in here, you could say that a equals 1, but now we have k equals 1. So what we talked about is our k value, remember, is what's going to shift our graph up or down. So therefore, I'm pretty much going to take this exact graph and shift it up one unit. So when we go and take a look at this, I graph my x and y intercepts. I don't need to do a table of values, because all I'm going to do is take these points and shift them up one. So the most important point to always change, the first is always going to be your vertex. Here we know my vertex is at 0, 0. Well, if I shift that up 1, now it goes to 0, 1. And since my a still has a value of 1, my graph is not going to be dilated all, right? It's not going to be stretched or compressed. Therefore, the relationship between the next two points is going to be over 1, up 1. And then the point after that will be over 2, up 4. So I can recreate that relationship because my a value is exactly the same. So I go over 1. So from my vertex, I go over 1, up 1. Over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 4. And this only occurs when your a value is 1. And you can also test it out by plugging some points um, if you wanted to. But now you guys can see that the relationship between my parent graph and now this graph is going to be the whole graph is exactly the same, except it's just been shifted up 1. And that is the case because my k equals 1. And that's going to shift the graph up. Now let's just go and look at some of the points, um, axis of symmetry, and some other important points that we have. Well, the axis of symmetry, remember, is going to be the line that's going to reflect our graphs. And since these graphs have not shifted left or right at all, my axis of symmetry is still going to be 0. Then let's go and take a look at the y-intercept. I'll take a look at the vertex in a second. Y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So now you can see that the graph crosses at 0, 1. And at that y-intercept, you also notice that that is also the exact same point where my minimum point is my graph. So that's going to be our vertex. So our vertex is also going to occur at 0, 1. And then I look at the x-intercepts. Well, you can see that the graph does not cross the x-axis at any point. So therefore, the x-intercepts is going to be none. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you use transformations to be able to graph a quadratic. Thanks.